Just tell me why you think you would be good as a congressperson that's already a crowded race uh, in this field. A lot of people with kind of similar views, but why do you think you stand apart and you'd be good for the job? Well, uh, I'm running for Congress to solve problems I experience every day as a school principal. I have struggling, I have students trying to learn why struggling with hunger, homelessness, anxiety, and about their family immigration status. I see the mental health crisis affecting our teenagers and how hard it is for them to get help. And I see children scared by the trauma of gun violence that plague our poorest neighborhood and the fear that they will be the victims of the latest mass shooting. These are all solvable problems. We just need leaders with courage and dedication to take on the far right extremists that's, that are standing in the way. Um, yeah, when you talk about working in a school, you said, is that like, just like life, they may be young, but do you think that's just like society in general? Basically, we're, school is like a microcosm of society in general. So the same problems that are faced, that my students are facing in schools, is, is the same problems that are facing in our community. Mental health, homelessness, all of those issues that, issues that I deal with every day as a school principal, so we're, it's the same problems that are in the congressional district and in the entire state, our entire state. You're a state representative too. Do you transfer some of that or do you, th do you think your experience at work or at school uh, is what you rely on more if you, a job in Washington? Or do you think the two work well together? I think these two work well together. It's a combination of both as a high school principal and as a state legislator. I think those two is a pretty good combination with the experience that I've gathered from the State House and as a leader in the school district. What, do you, would, what would you focus on? Is there like one key issue that you would focus on if you go to Washington or anything that stands out above all else? Yeah, gun violence is a huge problem, especially in our low income communities. I see children every day who are dealing with the lasting trauma of having a friend or a family member that are killed by illegal guns. We desperately need stronger gun safety laws and stronger enforcement of the laws we have now. That doesn't just mean an assault weapon ban, but also addressing illegal handguns that flood into our cities. Most illegal guns are stolen out of cars, and we need legislation requiring guns to be safely stored. We also need much straighter penalties for people selling illegal guns. Um, so you already addressed part of my question. Like, uh, you, you would obviously support an assault weapons ban. Definitely. And, but you said it needs to go further. Um, on other key issues, uh, like on abortion, do, would you support any restrictions on abortion access? Not at all. Okay. Uh, on uh, aid to Ukraine, would you continue, do you think the United States should continue its aid to Ukraine, both militarily and monetarily? Yes, I do, I do agree with you, uh, Brian. As a refugee from Liberia, I have lived through war. I lived there after high school in Liberia. I went through the civil war in Liberia. So I do understand the problems that are, well, the Ukrainians are facing right now. So definitely, I'm going, to be, uh, I'm going to be supporting the Biden administration to make sure that we keep supporting Ukraine. Is there any other experience from growing up in Liberia and emigrating to the United States that you think would be important an important experience as part of your background in running for Congress? One of the growing up in Liberia, one of the things that I have like a, spoken with a couple of my friends that are in Rhode Island, it's like the democracy that we have here. I have, I have learned democracy, I've seen democracy all in different countries, different parts of the world, but the democracy that we have here, it's not the perfect democracy, but it's the best that we have in the world. All we have to do, we just got to keep working on our democracy that we have in this country. But I'm glad to be an American, and I love that this is the best country that's on earth. And make sure that we're, we, just keep, we just keep working to support our country. Um, what do you think of the job that Joe Biden's done? Well, Joe, Joe has done a pretty good job, and he's continually going to do a pretty good job with the, uh, with the Democratic Congress behind him. Just about they are in a minority right now, but I think about things going to shift everybody next year. But Joe is, Joe is doing a very good job thus far in D.C. Do you think he should run again? I think he should run again. Um, 
you you kind of mentioned what you think sets you apart, but as I there's seven or eight people in in this race already, mm-hmm. all Democrats, mostly with a lot of the same views. How, how do you separate yourself uh, and try to stand out in that crowd? Well, it it's a combination of my experience as a state legislator currently and as a high school principal and person I've seen like a, the world from a different perspective, supporting like a Biden out in DC would be great for the Democratic Party. And also where I would have the best solution to the issue facing Rhode Island and our country. I will be releasing details proposal in the weeks and months to come, but I'm confident voters will see that I am the best candidate to solve big problems. And Brian, I don't shy away from problems. I get in there and solve problems. This is what I do every day as an educator, as a leader, and as a state legislature. Uh, what would you do about the cost of living and, and the price increases that people are seeing? Those are things that we have to take a look at and help people within our state because the cost of living is increasing and the salary, salary uh, the proportion, they are not comparing. But those are things we're going to take a look at to help people within the state and within the nation. All right, and I'm going to go back to you. you said, uh, as an educator, how would you describe your style as a principal? Are you a, are you a tough guy? Are you uh, compassionate? A little bit of a little bit of both. How, what's your style with the kids? I tell them a little bit of everything. It's a combination based on uh, where the situation where the situation arises. You can be where you can be the tough principal, but at the same time, you have to be compassionate. You know exactly what our students are going through every day. Students are coming, like I said earlier. High school war is like a microcosm. So when students are coming to school, so I'm not like a war, hunger, no food. You have to be that, uh, that person with compassion and you need to understand exactly where families are coming from. So I've been, I've been, uh, been in Providence now for almost close to 20 years. So I've, I have my students that have graduated, that I work with, have come back and said like in the world. Some of them are doctors and lawyers now in the city of Providence, or the Providence, or the state, all around the country. But it's all based on my passion that I have for my students because I treat my students like my students are my students. My students are my kids. I live in a neighborhood. I've never moved out of Providence. I've been in Providence. So I see my students and a family every day. Every day I want to go shopping, Providence Place Mall, wherever I go, local uh, mom and pop shop, my students and their family are there. Walmart, my students and their family are there. So I am part of the community. I embrace my community. I embrace my students and their parents and their family. Anything else you want to add? Well, well what I'm about to add is like, so my experience as an educator over like close to 20 years and uh, experience as a state legislator, I think I'm going to be the best candidate that could be able to go into D.C. and solve problems for our state of Rhode Island and our nation. Let us not forget, this is the best country that we have thus far on earth, and we have to protect our democracy. All right.